We are now going into the sixth day that little baby Lisa Irwin, 10 months old, has been missing from her home here in Kansas City. Uh, what has overshadowed this investigation and the search for this little missing girl uh, has been the tension between Kansas City police detectives and the parents of the, of the little girl who, who had spent the last two or three days not speaking with investigators. But now we're told all of that has been put aside in that Saturday night. Uh, the parents of the missing baby girl uh, were meeting again with detectives in this case, and this came as welcome news to the uh, police department and the uh, police investigators who have been working this case uh, so frantically for the last uh, six days. Uh, the officer said that this is the best way and the only way to get to the bottom of finding out where little Lisa Irwin is. They live here. It's their child who knows more, you know, so uh, talk to them. Something may jog their memory. You never know. They may think of another person, whatever. Uh, but again, their involvement in this investigation is critical. The tension between the parents of Lisa Irwin and the police detectives working this case has really overshadowed what is the most disheartening part of this story, and that is the fact that police are openly saying that they have no leads in this case, no idea what might have happened uh, to Lisa Irwin, who disappeared from her home overnight between Monday and Tuesday of last week. It was her father who had discovered her uh, missing, according to police, when he came home after working an overnight shift and, uh, overnight shift and found that her crib was empty at 4 o'clock in, in the morning. So so investigators are still trying to do everything they can. They've been searching through the neighborhood, talking to residents. They've even searched landfills, doing whatever they can. But at this moment, there are no leads, no idea where little Lisa Irwin might be. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Kansas City.